people, my name is Timmy Joe. I make uh, videos on the internet for you. How's it going? So, we are here. We are uh, currently running a benchmark. And just let's, let's talk. I'm holding this APU box. Uh, this is the, uh, you know, Athlon 9800 or 812 9800 uh, APU. So, this has integrated R7 graphics. Woohoo! Woohoo! And, you know, it's cheap. It's like 60 bucks. So what is this? Well, it's an older architecture that they put on a newer architecture for what reason? I don't know. Because we're here for another episode of... Why does this exist? Yeah, I don't know. I've been praising uh, AMD for their amazing processors over the last little while. I know that uh, their GPUs are a different story, but it seemed like they could do no wrong with Ryzen. Ryzen 7, huge success. Ryzen 5, even better. Ryzen 3, great for this low-end segment, doesn't have integrated graphics. Waiting for an APU that has integrated graphics with the uh, Zen architecture. And then they release this and leaves everyone's shaking their heads because it not only sucks it sucks just about as bad or worse than it used to when it was on the am3 platform am3 plus and uh you know i'm just struggling to find a good video to do because everyone's already done benchmarks on this and proved that it's wrong well i'm here to tell you okay that you shouldn't buy it Definitely not, because you can go to your local thrift store, your local whatever, you can go to your local pawn shop and buy a Core 2 Quad, or you can maybe buy, you know, one of their older APUs, or, you know, something, uh, you know, even half decent for $60, and you'll probably be better off, a full system, okay? Instead of buying this chip for $60 and then buying an AM4 motherboard, just go spend $60 uh, you know, on Craigslist and buy some crappy computer because you're going to get the exact same experience. And the one factor that might help you uh, on both platforms here is a solid state drive. Notice that both these systems have solid state drives on them. What that does is it makes Windows snappy and all your browsing snappy and your Word snappy. And that's all you're going to be doing on these things anyways. But, you know, hey, this has R7 graphics. We'll get to that in a minute because uh, you know we need to talk about the system I made well if you've been looking at the you know score here just about 300 on uh, Intel Core 2 Duo Quad Q6600 this is a quad core without hyper threading CPU that is 10 years old I'm, it's actually a little more Q1 2007 that was announced it has four gigs of RAM on it, S, uh, DDR2, I almost said SD, DDR2, okay, and my other little system over there, it has four gigs as well, so they're very evenly matched. How evenly matched, do you ask? Well, this is the other system, wow, I'll save you the trouble of running Cinebench through here, but stock at 3.8 gigahertz, 30, 331, 30 point difference. So, what the hell were they thinking launching this? I just, I can't even think of why. If you want to sell some computers with this in here, you're doing a huge disservice to people because you just had a range of awesome processors come out. And instead of putting a Ryzen 3 and, uh, you know, maybe one of these, or uh, this is a 560, a 550 uh, in, you know, uh, a pre-built computer at Best Buy or Staples or whatever, what have you, you're going to put this thing in here with integrated graphics and you know sell it to somebody it's going to give people a bad idea of what AMD's capable of just save the silicon that's like they already had the dyes made or something i they're recycling dyes i have no idea why they made this it's it's terrible okay so let's just quickly switch back you're going to say well it's got integrated graphics timmy joe that's where you get the, the gaming performance well yeah okay okie dokie but um, let's just load some stuff here. I'm um, we'll load Steam. We'll, we'll load Rocket League, and we'll, ro we'll load Fraps. And you know, I know this is kind of an impromptu type video, but you know, I want to make sure we're doing this just cause because there is a reason why you don't necessarily want to just grab an old system because esports e kind of titles, you know, they 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 are, they exist. So 60 frames a second at 720p. Let's just throw her up there. I was testing. 
something uh, that would have made a little more sense for 720p in a second, but with this same hard drive. Let's switch this over. Apply. So you want to play Rocket League. You want to play something fun with this uh, this Radeon R7 graphics. Let's see what, what happens. All the settings are turned down and we're barely hitting, you know, acceptable frame rates for a game like this. So is it playable at 1080p low, low settings? I guess. No, looks it looks all right, right? 41 frames a second. This is uh, what random gaming HD would call like the best experience ever. No, nah, it's you know it's it's all right. It's hard to play it with the setup that I've got because there's such a delay on the monitor there. But oh, Timmy Jor scored. There we go. So you can play Rocket League with this. There is a case to be made that you might want to play a uh, really low setting some esports title with the integrated graphics this thing has because when we jump over to this system uh i will admit and it's not it's going to be weird about me launching rocket league i bet but we're going to try so all right rocket league is open on the q6600 and we'll see here that this is actually the same settings it's all everything low uh, but we're on uh, 720p now, and it looks a lot worse. Uh, let's go to exhibition, and we want to create a match. We see here that even at 720p, the Q6600's integrated graphics really having a hard time playing this game. This is barely even, you know, I would say acceptable for me to be showing you on YouTube, let alone playable. We're hovering around, you know, 12 frames a second, and I'm about to score gore on myself there we go uh but yeah this is the q6600's integrated graphics it has a really hard time doing anything i'm actually really surprised this is even working half decently like able to you know play and show you guys but you get my point here okay neither of these are going to be very good for playing video games and you could edge out a very tiny little bit better of an experience with the uh you know APU from, from AMD right now, but I really highly recommend get a Ryzen 3 and get a real graphics card or look online for some sort of used situation because, uh, you know, this is all stuff you can find right now, 10 year old Intel parts for like dirt cheap and you slap some, you know, uh, GTX 750 Ti on there, or this is, uh, you know, uh, RX 560. You know, you can get Rocket League and CSGO going definitely with one of these. And I'll prove that right now. Ah, there we go. We have the RX 560 installed in the Intel machine. Okay. And we see we have Rocket League loaded. And we're going to see here. Let's go down to Ashians. There we go. Video. We're going to put this up to 1080p. Boom high quality apply whoa 60 frames a second we're hitting the frame limiter now on this old 10 year old cpu Ooh, i bet i could even spike all of the graphics up so here we go proof that you should find some old crappy computer and buy some mid-range graphics card and maybe you can have some really fun time playing esports titles where an apu like this it gets terrible FPS, okay? I'm talking like 30 to 45 with all the settings on low in Rocket League. And uh, that makes it pretty, pretty much so you have to buy a GPU anyways, okay? I'm not even going to put the GPU on there and prove that the performance is the same because with this four core, okay, Intel product that has uh, two generations old DDR2 memory in it. We're getting a really awesome playable experience in Rocket League here. And we just added a GPU that needs no external power and is fairly inexpensive around, you know, hundred bucks or, or, or so. I would even say, you know, go with the 550 or a 750 uh, Ti that, you know, you could find or a 750 out there that's super, super cheap. But buying this, that the whole point of this video is there's a million other better options, especially when you used hardware market than getting into uh you know this just for the sake of getting into uh am4 so you can upgrade to ryzen later save the extra 40 dollars and buy a ryzen 3 then 
okay? And I know you're going to need a GPU then, but go out and find some crappy GPU to just plop in there until you can afford one because this experience here is way better with a 10-year-old CPU, okay, a quad core at 3 gigahertz and 4 gigs of DDR2 RAM running with a newer graphics card than throwing it all together on an AM4 platform. Why does this exist? Anyways, I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I have a contest. It's up here, or it'll be at the end of the video. You could subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, retweet and comment, and win some swag. So, okay, there's a graphics card, a Ryzen 5, and a SSD up for grabs, as well as uh, help me hit 20,000 subscribers. Uh, don't forget, when I do that, we're going to be water cooling my Threadripper PC. And uh, we're going to do some more stuff with this, but I thought rather than, you know, do a bunch of benchmarks and super reviews on this thing, uh, I'm going to say it was barely even worth the time for me to buy this and make a video about it because number one, a bunch of people already did and proved it's pretty terrible. Number two, uh, I had this uh, Core 2 Quad 60, you know, Key 6600 laying around and if I really wanted to do a video about something, should have just done it about that because this is a pretty cool little computer. It actually is really, really snappy. And I'd say it's an indistinguishable experience between the APU in this, even though, uh, you know, it's a, 10 years old and it all has to do with hooking up a solid state drive to it. Okay, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching me blather. And don't forget the contest at Watch Timmy Joe on Twitter. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm going to play Rocket League all by myself.